Low relief sculpting is something that I class as very, very highly skilled. So if ever you hear of people doing low relief for coins or for any kind of bass relief, then expect that they are, they are you know, highly skilled artists. But we can do it on our iPads. Um, I've been doing it for years on um, desktop with ZBrush. So let's take a look at what we can do in terms of making this kind of bass relief on an iPad with ZBrush. So low relief work or bas relief work is where you uh, project or you, you carve out, whichever way you're working, uh, a very low f or flat um, uh, shape or, or, or character or creature or whatever it is you're working on, uh, usually on a coin or something with a very, very low profile so that the height of the sculpt is, is just usually a less than a millimetre quite often. But what we can do is we can we can do that in a few clicks really in ZBrush. So I'll just show you the process on a on a cue. You can make a coin or you can make whatever you want. But what you will need is a model. So I'm going to take this one, which is my Alien Queen from Nomad Sculpt. So she's quite good because she's got a lot of um, detail in this uh, vertebral tail. Um, you know the ver the vertebrae in the tail. Um, so and also you can see um, uh, side to side there you can see that she goes deep in now obviously we're only going to see everything from the midpoint onwards so I'm going to use her as a, a good example of how to do it and then we'll see what this looks like so if she's going to be the thing that's going to make the low relief then we're going to have to project onto something so you might want to try it with a like a cylinder or, or you know make a coin out of it but i'm going to do it onto a, a, a bass relief so a big block of let's pretend that it's marble or concrete or something like that so basically what i want to do is we've got our alien queen here in our subtools and i want to go plus and i want to append a cube so i've now got if you look in there you've got a cube and I've got the alien queen. So first of all, I'll put on a couple of things. So one, you don't want any symmetry on here. Do, don't have symmetry on for any of this. So symmetry should be off. And at some point, we're going to start going exactly to the front. But we don't need to do that just yet. And maybe to help me, I will just put on something like wireframe, like so. And also a transparency as well. So you can see inside there, I've got my little alien queen. And you can see the geometry on here is, is the, the horrible basic geometry that we, we get with ZBrush. So come to the gizmo at the bottom and we'll just crush that down and we'll give ourselves, this is now our bar relief. So think like a Cthulhu tablet or something like that. And we'll go a little bit higher, something like that. So now we've got this cube, uh, low resolution, and we've got it sitting behind the alien. Now, if you try to project this alien onto that cube, because it's low resolution, you're going to get nothing. You're going to get a bit of a wobbly surface on the front. So I'm not going to do that. So you've got a couple of options. So you could subdivide this up, but then you're going to get weirdness here at the top if you ever want to do anything on that. So we really need to change this geometry. And we, you know, if you followed me, or followed ZBrush for years, you're going to know how to do this. So you're going to use what's called Dynamesh. So we can come up here and we can look for, um, come into our tool panel and look for um, geometry and then come down here and we've got Dynamesh. So open up Dynamesh and then go to quite a high resolution. So um, I can't give you an exact number, but I'll try it with something like 1500 for now. And that's all I have to do. Just turn on Dynamesh and let it calculate. We'll see what happens there. So it's going to take a minute. So look how dense that is. So that's in the high millions. It's, it's almost black because it's so dense. But that's probably what we want, you know, so, something as high res as that. So if I turn off this, that means we can see that it's still very much a cube. And the alien's not touching it at all. She sat firmly in front of it, like so. Now, this is the next part where we go into the, the projection of her onto this cube. So what we want to do is make sure, absolutely double check that perspective is off or you will get some skewing. And then make sure if you tap the little head here, you're gonna get, so you, you want to basically get it to exactly to the front like so. So she's completely flat in an orthographic view right to the front. Turn off that transparency now, because we don't want that. And let's just have a look at what we're on here. So the cube in the stack in the subtools is in front or lower 
than the alien queen and that's not what we want you have to change that or it doesn't work so you have to bring her down and have the queen that you're projecting in front of the cube that's receiving the projection that's very important or you'll get it wrong so let's just reiterate you've got a high resolution queen or fairly high resolution that we brought in or, or you've sculpted and we've got a very high resolution thing we're going to bas relief onto so if you've got both of them and you're in this projection if you do it like this it's not going to work if you try and project like this it will go straight down through the screen and it won't work so one last time just double check she's completely on the front all the way to the front like so that little head is quite useful for that so if we're ready to do it all we've got to do is come back up here and we've got to find bass relief so if you look in the sub tool panel let's close everything down to make it a bit easier for you so you're in the below where you've got the the cube and the alien and then down below here, right at the bottom, you've got project and then project bass relief. And it's project bass relief that we want. Now, you feel free to have a tinker with these. Um, you know, these I have changed them a little bit. So relief contrast, I pushed that up a bit. Um, relief blur radius, not really messed with that much, but I always up it a little bit. And then it, um, re relief repeat count, I leave that exactly as, as, as it is. I sometimes tinker with it, but... A lot of these steps are just about iterating it and getting it like a finer gradient. Um, the contrast, obviously, the you know the higher you 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 push that, the higher you'll get the contrast. And then just project, and that pretty much gives you takes a minute. But if that's projected now, come across like this, you'll see it's projected it onto there. And then if you look with your uh, cube with your alien turned off. You've got a really nice bass relief. Now put perspective on so you can see it. And you can see now there are a couple of things that you could go back and change. So if you go back and change some of those settings, you might get a better projection here because um, it looks a little bit jagged there. And it's not because we've got a high, you know, a low resolution cube, but everything else looks quite nice. So you've got, a, a, you know, what you might want to do at this point is go in and smooth those areas down just literally by holding down um, shift and smooth. So we can go in here. And with a small draw size, keep it nice and small and then just smooth down those areas. And obviously you can go in and you can use damn standard to score in extra lines. You can um, and, and basically let me show you. Uh, damn standard is only in the uh, paid version. Just just to remind you, I always get shouted at for saying damn standard. It's just one of my favorite brushes, but you can only get it in the paid version. And as you can see, just with just with that bit of smoothing, you can get a really nice, you know, you can improve it straight away. But there's one or two things just to mention. So one, look at the height. So it might be too high for you, um, depending on what you're doing. If you're projecting on a coin, you're going to have to work out your heights yourself. So if you've done a block like this, it would have been good to make it thinner. But if you make it like this and then you squeeze it down then you lower the height overall. So always make your thing you're projecting on slightly bigger. Let's change the material and show you what the uh, what the different uh, looks look like. So you can go into gold, shiny. That's quite a nice one, isn't it? Matte cap gray gives you a different look, matte cap. But you can see all of the different effects there. Um, and, you know, and as you roll around, you'll see much more of a coin like if you, if you use one of those metal looking ones um, or go back to something like chalk and you'll see it you know much much less defined um so let's go back to something um where you can really see the detail so we'll go back to matte cap gray which is a common one now there's one last thing that i want to tell you because that's pretty much it now so um if you think about what you've you, you've just done if you were to do that on a coin maybe have this foot hanging over the edge and you'd have a really nice projection on a coin there um, that would work really, really well. But one thing that you could have done differently, have a look at the back. Boom. So she has projected all the way through. So the way to solve that is before you start is to mask off this entire back area just by using the mask feature. Um, so um, that is pretty much it. That's how you do bass relief, or at least if you're going to do this at a higher level of quality, um, and you want to get you know a much nicer effect than this, that then you might want to sculpt on it uh, a lot more after. And you you know I, I would use this pretty much as just a layout, uh, and then you use the tools that you'll use mostly for this are flatten, 
damn standard if you've got it, if you've got the paid version. And then I don't use standard brush at all. I just use the clay build up to build up the, the areas that you want. But there you go. So very, very quick and easy, quick and dirty bass relief in uh, ZBrush. I hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up because it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of thing and if you like it enough to give us a thumbs up then why not subscribe to the channel down below have a great week everyone